We have three, two, one action. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm gonna open up with a little number for you. Um, and this song is called Anniversary Song, by the way, also known as Danube Waves. This is not the anniversary waltz. It's a little bit more dramatic, I think. So I'll open up with that number and then we'll jump into the class. By the way, this class has nothing to do with this. Uh, the song has nothing to do with the class today. It's just something I want, felt like opening up with. So here we go. Why not? Good morning. Was that okay? Whoop. I can't tell, but yeah, it sounded a little choppy here and there. I don't know if it's just my internet connection yeah, I, or who knows. I jumped it up one notch. That's probably why. All right. All right. Maybe check well, your original sound uh, again, just in case, too. I, oh, of I course. Think you did. That was off. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> yes, of course. That thing keeps turning off on me for some reason. Good now. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, today's class is actually going to be, um, you know, when we hear a song like that, if you notice what I was playing, I'm using presets and what have you. And a lot of times I, we do that. You know, when you see Joni perform this Friday, she's, she probably uses a lot of presets when she plays. And, and we do that because we we change the, the, the style around and the sounds and so forth. And, and the minute you make any change to a sound, any change to a background, any preset change, any, anything you do of that sort, essentially what you're doing is you're creating an arrangement. And a lot of people don't think I'm, a, I'm not an arranger. Now, everybody here is an arranger of some sort. If you put on an instrument and you, or you put on your instrument and you put on a rhythm, you just play all the way through and you don't change anything, then you're not arranging. But the minute you push a different preset, a turn on a button, a sound or the harmony or something, essentially what you're doing is you're creating an arrangement. Now, some of us may argue that I may be an arranger, but I may not be a good arranger. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to, this is just what I'm going to teach today is just one of many ways of creating an arrangement, okay? And I'm going to give you a simple arrangement today and how you can apply it to any song, uh, particularly any kind of ballad that you want to play, all right? So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to reference um, a couple classes that Brian did once or twice where he touched on and he did a thing called What's in My Style. Now, do you have that handout, Sean? You bet. So that may look familiar to you. 
Um, and and I've, I've emailed it out a few times. And he went into what's in my style. And we talked about the bass and the drums and the genie and the orchestra plus and the lower. These are all the things on an instrument, on a Lowry or Esty, that make your rhythm style. So when you put on Latin, when you put on gospel, smooth, or uh, standards, or country, these are all the things. And by changing these things, you can become a great arranger. And here's why. Anything that you adjust with these buttons, and, and in a minute, I'm going to go, I'm going to show you a simple handout. There's going to be a few more extra words, but here's what I can tell you. If you get in the habit of adjusting things on your instrument called Genie, Orchestra Plus, drums, drum variations, lower, bass, auto bass, if you push any of those buttons while you're playing, you can never get a bad arrangement. You may like one setting better than the other, but these are designed so that if you push one of those buttons, it's always going to work well. Now let's go to the next page, and you're going to see some of the, the same. There we go. So go ahead and scroll up. There we go, right there. So if you see there, I put up there features that allow creative arrangements with ease. Everybody has a bass button on their instrument. Sometimes it's built in on the smaller models. Sometimes it's a separate button with a volume. And then there's some people that have auto bass one and two. Everybody has drums. That's hands down. Everybody has that on their instrument. Some people have the drum variation. The rest of the band, as I call it, um, where in the previous page it said Genie and Orchestra Plus, it's a style or accompaniment, okay? Now, what you see there is I type, and by the way, this Saturday, when I send out the email for the materials, and the, you're going to get two or three different handouts, maybe even four attachments that you can download, okay? So you'll see there the rest of the band. Now, you'll see it says Easy Series, SD Series, Genie or Basic. All right, so everybody here has one of these options on their model. Um, if you have the Easy or SD series, you have a button or buttons that, that say style or a comp. Accompaniment a comp stands for, is short for accompaniment. And the reason why I say that is because that's how it's labeled. It, they abbreviate it. And that's why I left it like that. So that when you go into, if you have an SD, you go into your instrument, you can go looking, that's the button you'll find. Now everybody else either has a genie uh, or a basic button. If you see there, if you have an A and SU series, you have a genie. If you have an EY or an EX series, you have a basic. They basically act the same way. And if you back up to the first page there, Sean, you'll see it says genie there. Um, so really, Genie or Basic refers to a very simple type of instrument that's being played. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this in a moment. All right, so go ahead and go back to the second page. All right, now, if you have an A or SU series or EY or X, you all have a button. This is Orchestra Plus, all right? One of my favorite buttons that I use, I won't use it in today's demonstration, but it's called Alter Style. If you happen to have that button, it's one of the best things you can do while you're playing. You say, I want to just change my song that I'm playing and make it a totally different arrangement, but still make it work. Just push alter style and it's foolproof. And then the other thing that was mentioned was the left or lower hand sound. This is all has to do with the accompaniment or the arrangement. Nothing in this page has to do with the right hand. Okay. We'll get to the right hand in a minute. Now let's put the screen back to me for a se second. And let's go to, I'm going to start here, but I'm going to work my way around on all the models. And so I'm going to put on a style, uh, uh, before I use today's example, I'm going to put on a, a rhythm style that most organs have. And let's see here. I can really pick anything, but let's pick, oh, they're all nice. Let me pick. I'm going one in my smooth category here. 
All right, I'll just pick one called San Frans. All right, so many people are familiar with that style. So here's what it normally sounds like. When you just turn it on and you put on your rhythm preset or your style setup or your all setup, here we go. Okay, so as you can, you can hear that. You hear your drummer. You hear a little piano player playing in the background. You hear the guitar player. Now that's not a full band, but there's enough musicians playing in that style. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off the drummer for a second, and the bass for a second, and the lower. Now right now you hear the guitar, and I'm going to turn off the orchestra plus. So here's just the basic or the genie. If I put in the orchestra plus, you hear some strings, a piano player, here's the bass, and then here's the drummer. So the point of this was everything I mentioned in that screen, most of you have on your models. There might be one or two exceptions. Today's song that I'm going to use to demonstrate how to use these features um, will work for a variety of ballads and uh, any slow song, any ballad. I'm going to teach you one way that a lot of artists you, do when they make an arrangement. Here's what they do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feature a song called Ave Maria. All right. And I have my music here. And I'm going to play the very first part of the song. And I want you to just listen to this, the, the very beginning of this, before I go any further. All right, now just by a show of hands or nods, I see some of you there. I see Gary, Al, Peggy, Inez. You, was, that a, was that an elegant sound? It was very nice and simple. Now, here's what a lot of people don't know. That rhythm is normally this rhythm. Now, as you can hear, there's a lot going on in that style than what you just heard, okay? So there's a cool little thing. Now, I have one instrument set up over here already, and then I'm going to come over to the Easy 10, and I'm going to actually step-by-step step show you how I'm going to do this, and then I'll even do it in our little beginner's model, okay? This is absolutely a lot of fun. So here's what I did. The first sound that you hear, and Sean, if you pull up that third page to that, where comes up to number one. Is that All what right. you're talking about? Eh, no, no, not that one, but oh, we'll okay. go ahead and leave that there for now. Leave it. Oh, so oh, here's oh, a okay. song. You're going to get a copy of this, and I'm not going to keep it on the screen, but you're going to get a copy of this one. Go to page two on that. You're going to see there's page two. It has all these numbers. Now show them the one with the notes on it. You still have that. And you'll see, you're also going to get a copy of this. It has all these notes. Now don't worry. I have another page that's going to be easier to read. All right? But you're going to get two sets of this. You're going to get a lot of stuff. So that one way or the other, it's going to be easy for you. Okay? We love stuff. That's good. <clears throat> all right. Now go to the handout where I do the step-by-step. -step third page there we go so you see that's all that stuff I was talking about earlier what we're gonna do is take that information back up just a little bit 
We're going to take, no, up, 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 second page, right there. We're going to take all of this information, and I'm going to show you how to very easily put a beautiful arrangement for this song or any pretty ballad, okay? So scroll down to number one, just number one. And right before it says, here's how we do it, right there, okay. So it says, what you just heard was this. Just a nice, elegant sound. What you heard there was a simple solo sound with a simple accompaniment, okay? I have on there oboe or flute. Now, it's not oboe and flute and sax. It's pick one. Pick one that you like. Oboe or flute or even a saxophone or clarinet. And here's why I said or, because every model has at least one of those instruments that you see there. I'm going to be showcasing the oboe on here, and at some point, I'll showcase the flute, and at some point, I'll even showcase the saxophone. You'll f see how they all work beautifully. So here's what I did, is I took a song that I really love to play, and I wanted to take an arrangement, and just like a professional arranger would, I wanted to very simply start off with As you can see, it's just a simple solo sound with a simple accompaniment. Bring that screen back, Sean. I want it back now. Maybe he doesn't want me to use it. There we go. Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Sean's like, the heck with that. Okay, so here we go. So you see it says, simple solo sound with a simple accompaniment. An oboe or, whoo, I don't know what that is. It went green on me. An oboe or flute, and then, and then in the style accompaniment, you see there it says style or accompaniment only or genie or basic only. But here's the best part. The question you should be asking yourself right now is, well, how do I do that? And how do I do it very easily? Okay? So let's scroll down. Okay. Now you might have to expand that a little bit or shrink it so they can all be seen on the screen. You can see all that? Is that all the way up through number two? Let's see. Yeah. There's nothing after that, right? Just number two. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here's what I did. I put in here a step-by-step -step instruction. If you go step-by-step -step on this, you'll get the same effect that you just heard. Now, I see some of you, you're probably, you're shaking your head going, I don't think so. Well, it's true. What we're going to do is power up the organ. In fact, I'll come over to the, the easy series. Okay. And, <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got to remember seven. I'm going to turn off the organ and then turn it on. All right. The first thing says power on the organ. Okay, so that's what I did. The second thing I'm going to do, of course, adjust your volume to that what works for you. But what I'm going to do is turn off rhythm preset, style setup, or auto setup. All right. So go ahead and go away from that screen. Let's, put me back on the, the easy 10 so people see me doing this, all right? So I powered up the organ. All of the models have a style setup or rhythm preset or an auto setup. So I'm gonna turn that off, all right? The next thing on the screen, it said to pick a rhythm style, didn't it? Did it say, what, what, what did it say I on the, so. yeah. what did it say, show it. Yeah, We're going to go back and forth. choices. Hold on, sorry. We're going to go back and forth a lot so you can see me actually doing it with you. Okay? So it says soft gospel or easy 4-4 four, four, or easy 8-beat. Eight, eight now here's the difference. Some of you have a soft gospel. Every one of you has an easy 4-4. Four, four. On the Estes, 
the, the very similar styles called easy eight beat, and you'll hear that, okay? And that a tempo of 66. So what I'm gonna do is select that style and put it at 66. All right, now here's the next part. It says, turn your drum volume to zero. All right, now go ahead and put it back to me. Right now, this is the way the rhythm sounds. You can hear there's a lot going on there, right? So what I'm going to do is it told me to do what? What was the first one, Sean? Turn down the drum volume? Well, the first one was power on. No, I mean, I, I'm already past that. We're all yeah. past. So you got to catch drum... up with us. Catch no, up with I'm... us, Sean. I'm behind. Turn drum volume down. Okay, so watch this. There they go. Okay, what's next? Bass volume to zero. Oh, that's much nicer. And what's next? Orchestra plus off. Okay, so some of the models have an actual orchestra plus button. I don't have it, so I'm gonna skip that step. What's next? The lower left sound it gets turned off. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. And then what? And then it just says pick the desired sound on your right hand. All right, now put that screen back on for them to see everything we just said. Okay, so you could hear the style is now very basic. Now the only other thing I'm gonna do is it says, now I gotta pick the right sound that I want. It says oboe or flute. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into my instrument here on my sounds, and I'm gonna find an oboe. If you don't have an oboe, look for a flute. If you don't have a flute, look for a saxophone. And what type of instrument is oboe? It's a woodwind. Woodwind. Yeah. Now it does say one other option. It's in parentheses. And remember, when it says if applicable, it means if you happen to do it. If you don't, it's not going to be the end of the world. Now there's a feature called orchestra octave. I'm going to bring it down. It actually already is. All right. So now what you're going to have, bring my music over here. I did everything in a step-by-step. -step. This is the sound you're going to get. Now you can put it back to the organ. And here's what you get, folks. And I'm going to put on the intro, too. So that yeah. setting that you just heard was everything with just what you just saw on that screen there, and this is what you get. supposed to stop me because I just went to another setup there now Ooh. oh yes so go back to that page now take a look at that screen guys and gals here's what's cool about that once you do all of that scroll down the preset the second setup look at this there's not much it says there in number two, does it? it? Just says add strings to your solo sound. Cool. Or crescendo if you have it. Or if you have an orc plus button. If in this case I don't have an orc plus button or crescendo strings. 
And all I did was add the strings to the, to the oboe. And what I got was this. Now listen closely. Here's where the strings come in. That's all I did. And you notice that the song just had a nice gradual build to it. That was it. What does number three say? Gary, Mary, Parker, can you see that? Just a nod. Okay, I just want to make sure because when he does the screen share, I only see like four participants. So I want to make sure everybody else sees it. It says three, turn on the bass, and it says bass volume to seven, okay? So watch this. And if you have a golden harp, if applicable. Now here we go. I'm gonna go back to the setup before on number two. Now here's what happens when I bring in the bass. Okay, I'm going to stop right there, and before I go any further, do I have any questions? Someone raised their hand. I don't know if you're there, Robert, but I lost my audio apparently, so I can't hear anything all of a sudden. We can hear you. Okay, well, Sean can't hear us, so I'm going to, let's see. Now I have to do double, double work here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's start with Winnie. You had a question? Go ahead and unmute yourself, Winnie. That's where I can hear you. Okay. Um, when you, how do you add your strings back on? You add, just press the orchestra plus. That adds the strings. No, this is to the. You're adding a strings to your oboe. So, in your right hand sounds, where your oboe, your flute, your, uh, all your sounds for your melody, you just reach up and you just add a strings button. Some of you have a tab on the instrument. Some of you have a tab here. Some of you have a, a button in here that says strings. Some of you have it right here. Okay, okay now this is a small model has it. Even over here in this little discovery three, the beginner's model, there's a button that says strings. Okay. So in this case, here's that same setup with the saxophone. Okay, and then when I wanted to add the strings, I just basically, in this case, I have to push the two together, but now we'll listen. So it can be done on any model. I'll go over to the Freedom 3 in a moment. So what you did is you touched and, and you hold that and then you touch the other button? Yes, so yeah. now... I, Winnie, you have a Stardust, correct? Yes. Okay. So for those who have, well, I would say the larger models, the intermediate size models, a lot of times you have tabs and your buttons on here. Sometimes you could just simply just hit a tab that says strings. Some of you have, if you're using two sounds in the same section, like the orchestral here, yep. this one here allows me to push one and then the other. There's some of you that have a set of red buttons and a set of blue buttons. If you want two sounds together, you press them both together. Okay? On models like the Easy and the Freedom 3, like here, in this, this woodwind button, there's an oboe. 
here's a string button. Okay, when I touch one or the other, the other one turns off. So in order for me to get it to work, I, in this case, I have to push the two together. Okay, now listen. All right. Someone else had their hand raised? I see Ginny. Let's see if we can get Ginny. You can unmute yourself, Ginny. It should ask you on the screen there. Okay. You said uh, turn on bass volume seven. What does that mean? Well, what organ do you have? A sterling. <clears throat> okay. So on the sterling, on the left side of the instrument, I have one back of someone similar back here. It's hard to see. So I'm going to go to this model here. Okay. okay. Almost all organs have a bass volume here. It actually says bass. I don't know if you could see it in the screen there, but they're, or they're orange. Okay. Now mm -hmm. watch this. Here's an easy series. Two orange bass buttons. Okay. Victor's got the hardest job here because he's got to make sure I don't roll over 20 chords. <laughs> okay. This SD over here. That's okay. I'll roll over that one. That's all right because I'm going to come back. Right over here, there's two orange bass buttons. Okay. And mm -hmm. when you tap the, that volume up or down, in the window, there's either notches or numbers. Okay, and if it isn't on the side of the organ, it'll actually, here, I don't know if you can see the lights lighting up, but the lights are going up and down as I press the, the, the lights on, as I turn okay. it up and down. It's just basically, you bring it up about seven notches, okay? Okay, gotcha. That's all that means. So okay. what I did, if you go back to that handout, uh, Sean, on the first three setups, and actually, at this point, go ahead and put the full page on there of that page. You're going to have to zoom. Okay. So you see there, you'll notice that I did a lot of stuff in the beginning. I turned off a lot of things is what I did. And then as we're playing the song, this, this will actually, and I'm going to show you as I play this one, I'll try it out with another song and show you how the same uh, setup will work with any beautiful ballad. So what you do is you turn on the instrument, you power on the organ, you turn off that one of those buttons, you pick a style that you want, the tempo that's ideal. Okay, In this case, I'm using 66 for this song. I turned the drums off, I turned the bass off, I turned, I turned everything off basically except for a little bit of accompaniment and a solo sound. And then on the, as I played the song, I added some strings to the solo sound as I was playing. And as I continued playing the song, I, played, I pressed the bass button. I turned it on to a volume of seven. Now, you may say seven is too loud of a bass for me. And guess what? If you want it at six, that's fine. If you wanted it, you put it whatever you want. Now you continue playing along and you get to another part of the song. And then I said, turn on the drums while you're at it. Well, that's not very hard, is it? You just turn on the drums. And then while you're playing along, maybe you add some vocal and a harmony in there. And if you have a drum variation, add that. Now I say it like that because it really is that simple. Okay. Now six and seven is for those who have the elite models and you can add those things to it. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. You're just going to hear it. What I wanted to do in this, in this setup of the song is give you something that if you turned on, if you took this setup, this, this page, and you took a song like Over the Rainbow, Unchained Melody, Ave Maria, uh, Amazing Grace, uh, any song you want that's nice and slow, and you do this method, you'll be able to play any song. And have a full, you'll have a arrangement that a lot of people do when they do arrangements. So, let me come over to the, the Freedom 3, and I'll play this through to demonstrate 
the exact same thing. Okay. And then we'll, we'll try it with another song. Now I have my music up here. All right. Is that, can that be seen okay? It can be seen okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, now go ahead and put the music up before I play this. Oh, boy. Okay. Give me a second here. This is really hard for him. Well, yeah, just it's just how they did this. Uh, yeah, I know. All right. Program here. Yeah. So the you see the music yeah. there? Now the A's, by the way, those yeah. A's, those A1s, the 2's, um, you only use A1, 2 if you have the presets for these, and I will include that in the email this week. For those of you who have the A series models, the prestiges, the EX, okay, you'll get those presets. But if you do not have those presets, if you don't have those models, keep in mind the number one, two, three, those are just note, it's just telling me this is where I'm going to make a change, okay? So you go to the next, you see where it says three and then four, and you go to the next page, and you'll see it says five and six and seven, okay? Now, I'm gonna make you squint a little bit. Put the music with the notes on it. The notations. So it'll probably be easier to see when you print this out, but all of, everything that I just told you is on this music. So when you're playing, all you have to do is press a button or two while you play. You don't have to do anything else. The only one that requires a few extra button pushing is the very first setup, okay? And if you follow it step by step, you'll get what you're going to hear, okay? So here we go. I'm bring it back to the organ. I'm going to make sure that I have my bass off, all right, my drums off. I'm going to do all the stuff that I said. And then in this case, instead of an oboe, I'll do it with the flute since I mentioned the flute, okay? Now, while I'm playing... I'm going to reach up and hit the strings together. Jenny, you're going to notice I'm going to push two together. Uh, or Winnie, whoever asked that question. Uh, some of you have it handy on the instrument. If you want to push the two together, you push the two together. So here's the same setup that you just heard. Listen. And I'll play it all the way through. harmony.
Let's give that little Freedom 3 a big round of applause there. Yay. Beautiful. So, now I played it all the way through that time, but you notice all everything that you see on those notes is what I just did. And you, it was a little bit tricky when I was bending over trying to keep myself, but you could see a couple times I pushed two together or I reached up and hit the arm and he or turned things on. Now, before I go on and show how you can try this out with other songs, I have some raised hands. Let's start with Inez. I should ask you to unmute yourself, Inez. Yes. You're not you using any of the general presets because when I push a general preset, then the orchestra plus the lower, the bass, they go on automatically. Oh, I'm glad you asked, said that. She said when you turn on the presets or whatever. Okay, now let's go back to my notes here. Okay, which notes? Um, go to the one that has mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Okay, first of all, go to the song. Go oh, my song. goodness. Go to the song. Any one of them. <laughs> okay, and Inez. Yeah. This A1 does not yeah. apply unless you have the presets that I gave you. Okay? Okay. If I give you the presets. If you use these presets, if you go on your organ and you start pushing A1, 2, 3, everybody pay attention. If you have an organ that has A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Yeah. Don't go on your organ and push A1. It only applies if I give you the custom setups, okay? Okay. All right, because otherwise it'll change everything. Okay. So just disregard, you. You just disregard that. Now go to the notes, uh, Sean. It's a very user-friendly program, that thing is, isn't it? Okay. Look at number one. Yeah. See, how, see if it's scoot in there. A little bit more. Hmm. You'll see it says power on. See where it says turn off rhythm preset style setup? Yeah. You're, you're going to turn that off. You're not going to do any presets in this unless you are using presets that I give you. Okay. So can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I turn the organ on. And you then I go to st style setup. No, nope. you're going to turn it off. You have a rhythm preset. You have the symphony? Yeah. Okay. So, so you're going to turn on the organ. You're going to turn off rhythm preset. It's the right. button right next to all the numbers. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're going to make sure that's off. Then you're going to pick one of those rhythms. Okay. When you say rhythm... Do you mean like soft uh, gospel, easy four four? Okay, all right. So uh, I'm yours would ballad. be soft and easy. You got to find one of those rhythms. Okay, so soft and easy ballad. Okay. Okay, one yeah, one of those rhythms. Okay, soft that, gospel. Yeah, that's a, that's the one I I use, but I use different ones today. But pick the one that okay. you want. Okay, okay, I did. Okay. Then you turn off the, put the tempo okay. to sixty six. Okay, got it. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Now there's a drum volume. Right. There's a drum drummer. You drum turn that volume. all the way down to zero. Right. Then you put your bass volume. You go all over to the down. bass and you bring that yep. all the way down. Right. And then if you have an orchestra plus button, just turn that off. Right. If you have okay, an e if you have an SD or an easy series, it says leave your style volume on. That's a big note for you guys. Okay. Then on the lower left hand, now wait. There's, there's two. There's two orchestra plus under style control. That's off. And then orchestra plus on a under graphic mixer. If you so turn like, off the orchestra plus button, it will make that. Uh, Volume non existent, and you want to so turn off the button that says Orchestra Plus. I did, but the other one stays on. All that's fine, it's on. just a volume for it. I'm, that's why okay. I just said turn off the Orchestra Plus button. Okay, and then okay. your lower your left hand sound, you have a tab in the middle that says lower tab. For those of you who have any sound in your okay. left hand, just turn it off. <clears throat> okay, okay, did that, yeah. and then and then you just find a sound in the solo that you want where it's just an oboe or a flute or whatever. And then All that's right, so the how do, I, how do I find that sound? 
Well, you go over to your genius, you go over to your genius button, you press it and you scroll until you get to an oboe. Keep in mind after you do all this stuff that he's talking about, like yeah. he meant he mentioned all these different things. Uh, most of you, if you have those bank setups or presets, A through E or just A, B, C, whatever it says, if it has a bank, yeah. you can save this after you do it. And I think most of you know that, but yeah. that's now super on the, sure When you go over to your solo section, you push one of your genius buttons, or if you go to your orchestral, so you're where, you're, where your right hand sounds are. So on the, you. okay, over yeah. on this little model here, it says yeah. piano, guitar, mallet, strings. On this model here, it says upper, lower. On the symphony back here, it says genius one and two. Everybody has a right hand sound. You touch it and you scroll till you get to the sound that you want. Some of you may, may have an oboe right there on the instrument. Now, this, this is it. one thing I'm gonna encourage you to do. If you have trouble finding this stuff, you, you should call your local PA and say, how do I find an oboe? How do I find a flute? Okay. And Judy, you had a question too. Okay, you ready for me? We are I'm ready. ready. We are real quick. You I think I am. Add, add vocals. At that point, you have the solo instrument. You have the strings. When you add vocals, do you have to hold down three buttons? Well, you could try it and see what happens. More than likely, one will go away. Okay. So when you add vocals, more likely. So it becomes a better. preference, right? I that was just an option. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wondered how you got that. That's what I did when I did it on the Freedom Three here. I added the vocals, and one of the other sounds went away. So it it depends on the model. Some will allow you to put three. Some will allow you to put two. The point is, is I put some vocals in there. Now, our beginner's model over here. Does it also has does not have a vocal, so in that case I won't use it. I'll just keep it on the strings and so forth. Now, when you get the music, you're not going to see it with the A one and the two. It's just going to say one, two, three, four. That's not telling you to use presets. It's telling you when where there's a different sound we're using. Okay, so keep that in mind. Unless I give you presets and you load them in. Okay, don't go pushing those presets because then everything you set up will go away. Now in this, when I play it over here, it'll do the same thing. I have the presets programmed in there. Okay, now what I want to show you is I said that if you do this setup, you can do it for any song. So I'm going to set it up exactly the same way I did earlier. Let me put on mellow or the easy bait beat, turn out the bass, turn off the drums. Okay, tempo of 66, maybe a different tempo. I'm going to put on a, a flute. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to keep it at that tempo, but I'm going to do the exact same setup that you just heard, but I'm going to play a totally different song with it. I forgot I still had the harmony on. All right, so here we go.
So did you see I used the exact same setup, that same concept, but I played a totally different song with it. Now, any more questions before we go back to the page? None whatsoever? Gary, you had your hand up earlier and you put it down. Was that intentional? I'm I have no idea not. what you just said. Oh. Here we go. Go ahead. Try again. The question that I had was on volume number seven, but it was answered by... by okay, so you got your question person. answered. All right, very good. All right, so let's pull up the notes again, and then I'm going to play the song, and then I'm going to play the song uh, with the music on the page. So basically, the idea of this is that if you turn on your instrument and you follow this step by step, as you're playing... If you just add what you see, you can do this with any song at any point. Now, here's the beauty of this. If I accidentally turn on my bass first before I add strings, guess what? There's not going to have any harm with that. In fact, I just did it on the Freedom 3 when I played Over the Rainbow. I went out of order, and it worked. If you accidentally put one... Uh, an auto bass on instead, or if you put a, if some of you have a drum variation, or if I put a drum variation on and I forget and I put it on before I put the drum on, the point is, go back to the second page here. Look at these buttons here. All of you have at least one, two, or three of these buttons. If you are interchanging these buttons while you're playing, it doesn't matter the order you do it. You're creating an arrangement with your song and now you become a professional arranger because when Bill Curry designed these styles for you, he designed them so that if you had a button that said auto bass one and two, well, if you put auto bass one or two on, guess what? They're just two different bass patterns and they're both going to play the correct notes. They're never going to play bad for you. If you have a drum or a drum variation button on, if you push that button on or off, guess what? The drummer's always going to play on time. He's going to be on beat. He's just going to play a little differently. So it doesn't matter if you push those buttons. In fact, I encourage, push them as much as possible while you're playing because it's going to alter your arrangement. Some of you have an alter style button. Turn it on or off any time you want. You're never going to sound bad. Now, you all have the style accompaniment or Genie or Basic or Extra Plus. Sometimes I just turn them on and off while I'm playing. Guess what? It changes the sound of the song. You'd be surprised how many times people are playing that you hear in these concerts and they're doing exactly what I'm telling you. In fact, when you listen to Joni play this Friday... You'll find a lot of arrangements. She changes the sound on the keyboards as well, but a lot of arrangements have to do with just what I call fiddling around with those buttons. Okay? So, with that said, before I'm going to play that song on here, because I haven't done it yet, for those of you who have this, I can do the same concept that I told you, set it up, and then add stuff as I go. But I'm also going to, in this case, I have presets loaded. So if you get the presets, you can use them. But I wanted you to see that I did it on the Discovery 3. I did it on the Freedom 3. I did it on the Easy 10. I can do it on an Easy 4. I can do this on any model. There is only going to be a couple exceptions where you may, have, you may have a button or you may not have one. You'll notice that on my notes that I send you, it's going to say, if applicable. If it's not applicable, what do you do? Anybody? Anybody can unmute themselves and tell me the answer. If it says that it's not app, if if applicable and you don't have it, what do you do? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just move on to the next thing. Yeah. You're fine. In fact, there was a couple of those notes on there when I was on the Freedom and the Easy Ten. It was not applicable. Mm -hmm. 
And no one said to me, Robert, you didn't put on that button and it didn't sound good. It's going to sound good no matter what. Now, if you have those buttons, it's just nice to have and it just enhances the song. But what I wanted to prove today is that if you take those notes step by step when you get them and you try that out with any song, you don't have to put the numbers in the song. You can play them in any order you want. Okay, Anyone can take a pretty ballad and build a nice arrangement. And that's just one of many ways that people do it, all right? In fact, um, some of you have heard me play Besame Mucho. Um, I featured it many times. Somewhere out there, the exact same concept that I just showed you is the exact same concept I used on those songs. Because what I do is I take a style, I strip it down, and then I gradually add stuff as I go. That's it. And then we start a song with something so simple, and then we build it up. Okay? So what I'll do is I'll finish up with um, this, uh, this. I'll play the song all the way through uh, on this model because I only played one song here. I have my turn on original sound on, Sean, so it should sound okay now. Oh, good. Um, and before I do, <clears throat> if there are any other questions, and then I'm going to do some announcements, and then I'll play it. I'll finish off by playing this song. Okay, any other questions? Judy's got a question. Go ahead, Judy. Just uh, quickly, when you were playing over the rainbow, did you transpose up? I did not. In fact, let me see if I did it. No, that was in the regular key. But what I like to do is when I play this song, and if I had remembered on the, in the Freedom 3, I would have transposed it down to B flat. Oh, okay. Now, I, it's, not a, it's not a like, you notice I didn't even mention it, but uh, I do do it a lot, only because a lot of the music is written in the key of C or F, and sometimes they're in different keys, so I like to transpose it down to get some of those warmer, richer tones, that's all. Okay, good question. Any others? You see anybody's hands up? Nope, we are all good. Okay, so you'll get, <clears throat> you're gonna get a copy. You're gonna get a lot. You're gonna see an attachment or two. You're gonna get a lot of information. And the point is, the reason for that is I want you to pick and choose what's gonna work better for you, okay? So what you're going to notice is as I'm playing, you're going to see, let me just pull this up real quick here. I'm going to pull this up. I'm not going to put it on the screen share. I'm just going to play it all the way through. But when you get your music, okay, it's going to look something like this, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. Whoops, control Z. <laughs> okay. All right, so you see, I'm going to have all those notations on there, and I'll even get rid of this so it doesn't confuse anybody, but I'll just put a number one. That just means where you're putting the setups, okay? So you see, I have all those notations while you're playing. All right. You're going to also get a piece of music like this that does not have this notations on it. So you'll have it either way you want. Okay. Ooh. The point is, is I want to give it to you. Now, if you have any questions outside of that, I am encouraging you contact one of your local staff member and say, he mentioned this. How do I push that? How do I get that sound? Do I have that button? Do I have this? It's very important that you do that because when we do these instructions, you know, keep in mind we're catering to the masses here. And I, the last time I looked, we had about 35 different models represented on today's class today. That means there's a Discovery 3, a Freedom Throner, there's an Easy 10, there's a Symphony, there's a Rialto, there's a, there's a lot of different models. And I wanted to create it so that it would apply to everybody. But there's always going to be something that has to be catered to you for your model, like some of the questions we got today. So I would encourage you, pick up the phone, 
contact your staff members if there's any questions. Wait till you get the information Saturday first, because that's when I'll schedule it out. I'll have all the handouts. I'll even put in the presets in there and, um, and then try it out. And then when you run into a little roadblock, just pick up the phone and call someone. Um, last but not least, before I play this, I do want to say as a reminder, as you already know, this Friday is Joni Monero's um, Zoom musical. And, um, oh, there she is. She's smiling. She's been rehearsing every day for the last two months for this, or at least two weeks since I told her. Um, and uh, are you, I think the plan is she's going to be doing it out of one of our students' homes? Yes. All right. So that'll be kind of fun. So she'll have her very own personal concert as well. She'll get it live in True. person. So that is Friday at 11 uh, a.m. Arizona, 2 p.m. Florida. And then I, you are going to see, a, by the way, folks, some of you are going to receive a special email from me today, if you probably already have it in your inbox, uh, only a select few. I have a very special presentation I'm going to be doing. I won't tell you any more than that. But um, if you see it, you'll want to uh, attend that. But with that said, I'm going to finish off. I'll play it all the way through. Here we go. Well, thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that class. Everybody, and feel free and unmute and give him a, a hand there. Yeah, I want a bunch of hands. <laughs> and feet. They like food. feet. They say food is uh, applause thank is food for a uh, performer and educator. Thank you. Hopefully, thank you. Hopefully, I got your wheels turning there, and you're going to have some questions. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because then you have to call the staff and say, how did he do that? That's the point sometimes, because if we just sit here all day waiting to do the next class, we got to stay busy doing like we used to doing it. So 
Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed. You'll get all the music, uh, uh, the presets. You'll get everything um, that you need on that. Uh, and if you have any questions, you know, you can send me an email. You know, I usually get back sometimes right away, sometimes not right away, but I get back <laughs> always. So thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed today's class. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Robert. Thank you. Bye. Very good. Thank Let me just look in the bye. chat here. Thank There's you. a couple of people thank that asked bye -bye. on the list. Who is asking from on the list? Clap, clap, clap. Oh, that was Linda Hemming, I think. So Linda Hemming, are you still there? Not sure if I'm on the list. I'm still here. For... Yes, if you there are here, is. if you are here today, then you're on the list. Because what I typically do is the Wednesday and Thursday class is the only one that I send a link out to just Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Okay. On everything else, I send it out to the masses. So if you're on this list today, you're going to be on the other list. Right. And pretty soon right. with the website, we're still working on it. There's so many intricacies to it. Pretty soon, you won't have to worry about finding a link. You can just go to the Good. website, go on the calendar and click on it and join. Um, it may ask you for your name and what have you to, to get in, but that's about it. So anyway, thank you so much. If you have any questions, email me, rroman at fletchermusic.com. Uh, when I send out these notices, most of them come from my email. Uh, Inez knows how to do it, right, Inez? Hi, Martha. A lot of people know how to get in touch with me, and I'm usually pretty good at getting back quick, pretty quickly. So, thank you so much. Oh, we got a glass of wine there. It's always good to have a glass of wine. Bye, bye, guys. Oh, and wait, I got to do this before I go. I always like to do this. See you. Thank you.